for you. So, uh, in tonight's rather strange stream, on a night that I don't usually stream, we're going to be uh, visiting some new locations, gathering the finest possible tools, and then stopping. And I'll do the grinding off screen because it's boring to watch. But before I get to any of that, I'm going to get to this. This is Great Lakes Brewing Company's Dortmunder Gold Lager. And uh, I've talked about it before on the stream, but I'm going to go ahead and actually drink it on the stream because this is a beer worth your attention. A lager, you say? Worth your attention? Yes. Yes, it is. It's called Dortmunder Gold for a reason. And that reason is that it has won gold medals around the clock. I meant to say around the country. I don't know what the hell... Well, they probably won them around the clock, too. Different times of day. Who knows? But my point is uh, that this thing has won a ton of different uh, awards for being a logger above reproach. So let's go ahead and have a sniff. Yep. Doesn't smell like a logger. Smells... Almost like an ale. It's got some roasty toasty notes in there, but this one has some almost vanilla-y kind of scents to it. You can smell some different constituent materials from the uh, the wheat and the barley and the hops, all blended together carefully, and uh, and the end result is a lager worth sipping. This right here has several stages that it goes through. When you take a sip, and usually I don't do this on the first sip, I, I take a second sip. Swish it around in there, get, get some aeration in there, get the flavor out. You will find that you've got wheaty, grassy notes coupled with uh, toasted hop notes there is a characteristic, I don't know whether I'm losing my mind or, or whether I'm, I'm just picking this up and it's, it's actually in there, um, but there is a sort of uh, vanilla-y flavor, almost like a, well, I tried a Hefeweizen the other day. I, I'm thinking maybe it was a Kolsch that I tried once that had kind of a vanilla flavor to it, but this absolutely is giving me little little hints of that. Um, the main thing is this isn't, this isn't Christmas beer. This is summer beer. This is, it's hot outside. You want something wet and cold that's going to rehydrate you. And frankly, it's a bit warm in here, even though I've got both air conditioners running on opposite sides of the apartment. It's warmer than I'd like, which is what got me to my friend Dortmunder. Uh, this thing really just, just it, it slakes your thirst. It, it sates the palate. It's more complex and more rich and more distinct than any other lager I've ever tried. Uh, it has a hint of bitterness. It has a hint of sweetness. Um, texturally, it's like drinking water. It's not thick. It's not hazy. It's none of the other things. Um, but it speaks for itself. I, I really do think this is a, a genuinely... There's a reason that it's won a bunch of awards. I think this is a really good one. Uh, so... If you want to give lager another try, and I, you know, maybe some of you actually really enjoyed your lagers. I am a snob, and I'll own it. Uh, I, I tend to prefer uh, ales and um, and stouts and uh, weird things, Abbey ales, and and you know, I, I like to get into my weird like, give me all of these different wacky flavors in there. Um, I, I like a weird beer. I don't know what to tell you. So lager tends to be a little bit dull to me, uh, but not this guy. Um, every time you take a sip, you'll get a little something new. Go, oh, oh, yeah, what's that? What's that? How'd that get in there? You won't be disappointed. So if you if you want to give lager another shot, um, go sit out by the pool in one of those crappy folding chairs. Not one of the good chaise lounges. No, this, I need a, a crappy aluminum and plastic folding chair with a cloth base from 1975. 
get your shorts on the shorts that you're not comfortable in because you hate the way that your legs look because you spend all your time indoors and you're so white and pale and pasty and uh no shirt put on one of those fisherman's hats have a couple of fishing lures in there and then take a few sips of this and see if you don't feel right at home <laughs> is, is this the kind of beer criticism you came here looking for i don't know uh but it's what you got it's what you got let's uh let's get to the gaming shall we which is really my forte 